Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the Holy Smokes Barbecue Channel. It's the fall season and that means football, that means fall gatherings, that means kind of that fall festival kind of stuff. And today I'm gonna to show you the perfect dish that you could bring to any sort of cookout or, or, or tailgate party or any sort of fall gathering. It's gonna be absolutely perfect for that. We're gonna make a smoked, cheesy, spicy corn dip. This is gonna be really, really easy. I'm just gonna take some stuff, throw it in a cast iron and put it in the smoker. So come along on this super easy journey with me and let's make this delicious dip. All right, we've got our 12 inch cast iron pan here. Uh, this thing's just deep enough that's going to make uh, as a perfect vessel for this incredible dip. So I'm gonna start with some corn. Now, now you could, you know, um, get your own corn directly off the cob, you could get canned corn. This is kind of like a frozen uh, Mexican style street corn, so it's got a little bit of sauce in there with it, which is uh, it's just gonna add a lot of flavor. You could find that at your local supermarket in the frozen food section, but like I said, you don't have to. You could just use regular corn for this, but I'm all about flavor, as you know. All right, next we're gonna add some diced green chilies. It's one can, it's about four ounces. Next, I'm gonna add about two thirds of a cup of shredded Parmesan cheese and about two cups of shredded uh, New York sharp white cheddar cheese. I don't know why I'm doing it like this, just pull a plate in there. Next, I'm gonna add four ounces of softened cream cheese. Next, a little dollop of sour cream. I guess that's maybe like, what, quarter cup? About the same amount of mayonnaise and one medium diced jalapeno pepper. That's where our heat's gonna come from. I like the fresh jalapenos because they got more heat. You could use pickled if you want to make it a little bit more mild. I'm going fresh. Next, we'll add just a little bit of cumin to this. Just, you know, not that much. And now let's mix it all together in the cast iron pan. This isn't gonna look like much yet, but once things start melting, it's gonna be like a beautiful, beautiful party in a pan. And guess what? You're invited. Hope you can make it. Cancel your other plans. Because this is the party you want to be at right here. So I'm just trying to get that cream cheese mixed in as best I can. It doesn't have to be perfect because again, things are going to uh, melt and then it'll be much easier to spread around. For now, I just want to make sure everything at least is mostly mixed together and incorporated. All right, that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and just smooth this out nicely in the pan there. I should mention that the corn that I put in there was not frozen right now. I did cook that first. But we gotta get some smoke on this, so let's head over to the smoker. All right, it's gonna be a pretty quick smoke today. Smoking on the Pit Boss Savannah Onyx Edition. It is available exclusively at Walmart and it is my go-to right now in my cooking arsenal. It is the, the, the it's a beast of a pellet grill. And today I'm smoking at 350 degrees. Now I know you're probably thinking that's not gonna give it any smoke, but I'm gonna leave it on there for about 30 minutes. I want this to bake, start bubbling, and it will have just a hint of smoke. I'm not looking for overpowering smoky flavor. I'm just looking for a little kiss, a little, little, little holy kiss of smoke. Mwah. Today I am using a new blend of pellet that I've really, really gotten to love, which is the Pit Boss Whiskey Barrel Blend Pellet. I've got a little bit of sweetness to the flavor, um, but it's a mild smoky flavor that I think is gonna work really, really well with this corn dip. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and get this into the smoker for 30 minutes. Like that. And I'll see you in a half hour. All right, and 30 minutes later, <laughs> look at that. Look at the, the bubblage. All right, oh my gosh. The smell out here is something else. Oh my goodness. This smells so incredible. All right, so we'll just give that a good stir here. It's ready now to eat. So right before we do the, gotta make it a little bit fancy, right? So I'm gonna add just to the middle, a little bit of diced tomato. And for some color and also because I love it, little freshly chopped cilantro. And there you have it. 
Look at the beautifulness of that. Look how great it looks. Oh, it smells incredible. I cannot wait to try it. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be delicious. All right, I am losing daylight, so I've got to try this. I've got these cute little fall tortilla chips. They look like leaves. I don't know, my wife got them. Um, but perfect occasion is this dip. It is very, very hot. Go in here. Oh, beautiful. All right, here we go. Smoked, cheesy, spicy corn dip. Oh, man. Mm, mm hmm Holy smoke. That's good. You get a little bit of sweetness. And that's from that sauce that was in that Mexican-style street corn. And to be honest, I'd probably put another diced jalapeno in there just to get a little more heat because that's kind of how I like it. But you do it however you want. If you like no heat at all, don't even throw the jalapeno in there. Well, listen, you saw it. It could not have been easier 30 minutes or less on your smoker for a delicious dip that is sure to be the talk of whatever you bring it to. So I'm going to take this inside so that everyone can enjoy it. But thank you once again for tuning into the Holy Smokes Barbecue channel. If you like this video, make sure that you do three things. Click the thumbs up to like this video, click the subscribe button, and then turn on notifications using that little bell. And that way you're going to be one of the first people to know as soon as new content drops here on the channel. And for some other sides and appetizers, check out one of these two videos right here. These are some delicious things that you could make for your next gathering as well. And trust me, you will be the party hero. So check those out and I'll see you next time.